The California Steam Navigation Company was formed in 1854 to consolidate competing steamship companies in the San Francisco Bay Area and on the Sacramento and San Joaquin Rivers. It was successful in this effort and established a profitable near monopoly which it maintained by buying out or bankrupting new competitors. In response to the Fraser Canyon Gold Rush and economic growth in the Pacific Northwest, the company expanded to ocean routes from San Francisco north to British Columbia. Similarly, as California's economy grew, the company offered service from San Francisco south to San Pedro and San Diego. It exited these markets in 1867 when competition drove prices to unprofitable levels. While the California Steam Navigation Company was successful throughout its life in suppressing steamboat competition on its core bay area and river routes, it could not control the rise of railroads. These new competitors reduced the company's revenue and profit. Finally, in 1871, the company's assets were purchased by the California Pacific Railroad, and the corporation was dissolved. <laughs> Early history In the 1840s and 1850s road and rail networks in the Bay Area and inland California were primitive. Steamboats and the barges they towed played an important part in moving people, agricultural commodities, and other goods around the region. Numerous wharves and depots sprang up in San Francisco Bay, San Pablo Bay, and Susan Bay. Steamers also ascended the rivers that emptied into these bays, notably the Sacramento River and San Joaquin River. The Sacramento River was navigable for 250 miles and in periods of high water even further upstream. The Feather River, a tributary of the Sacramento, was navigable beyond Marysville during portions of the year. The San Joaquin was navigable year round as far as Stockton and in periods of high water, steamers could reach into Fresno County, about 200 miles from the river's mouth. In 1848, there were but two steamers on the Sacramento River. You could travel from San Francisco to Sacramento for $30 with a cabin, or for $20 on deck. As the California Gold Rush began, the number of ships sailing on the Sacramento River shot to 16 in just 18 months, all of them built in eastern shipyards and sailed around Cape Horn. By 1851 fares had dropped to $1 as all the new ships fought for customers. To make matters worse for the shipping companies, they ordered additional steamers during the boom times and they began to arrive. With loans to pay, the ship owners had no choice but to put them into service, despite the already ruinous level of competition. By 1853 there were 25 steamers running the Sacramento River alone. The steamboat owners ended their unprofitable competition by combining almost all the vessels that served the inland trade. On February 22, 1854 the California Steam Navigation Company was incorporated under the laws of California. The company's initial shareholders included Captain James Whitney, Jr., Marshall Hubbard, John Bensley, and Major Samuel J. Hensley. All four men served as president of the company at various times. <laughs> <laughs> Inland competition The new California Steam Navigation Company moved quickly to retire excess capacity, 23 ships were idled. The combination effectively eliminated competition on the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers. This allowed the company to raise rates and profitability return for the company's owners. This profitability lured new competitors, just as it did in 1850. Individual boats such as Surprise and Martin White began service in 1855. Rates from San Francisco to Sacramento fell as low as 25 cents per passenger as the California Steam Navigation Company sought to eliminate the thinly capitalized newcomers. In their outrage at freight rates that were raised to $40 per ton after the consolidation, Marysville merchants formed the Citizens Steam Navigation Company to compete with the company in 1854. Its competitive steamer, Enterprise, carried the freight for $12 per ton. Not content to have any competition, the California Steam Navigation Company lowered its rate to $1 per ton. Citizens Steam Navigation Company built a larger ship, Queen City, but at the low prices they had to charge to compete, it lost money on every load. Citizens Steam Navigation could not find sufficient financing to continue operations under these circumstances. 
On October 1, 1855 it signed a contract giving the California Steam Navigation Company control over its ships, effectively reinstating the company's monopoly on transportation to Marysville. The general public and the local business community loathed the California Steam Navigation Company for its monopoly rates and the harsh tactics it used to suppress competition. One newspaper went so far as to editorialize that all candidates for the state legislature should pledge eternal opposition to the California Steam Navigation Company. Topic: <laughs> Ocean and Coastal Service. The Fraser Canyon Gold Rush created an immediate and large demand for transportation from the Bay Area to British Columbia beginning in 1857. The 49ers, who rushed to the California goldfields now rushed to mine the new Canadian workings. Similarly, California's growing economy created new demand for transportation to the south as well. The California Steam Navigation Company used a few of its largest steamers for these new routes and acquired other ocean-going ships to meet this demand. Pacific was purchased in 1859. Brother Jonathan was purchased and refit in 1861. Ajax and Arizaba were purchased in 1865. California was built for the company in 1866. In 1858 Senator began. South Coast. Service between San Francisco and San Diego with stops in San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, and San Pedro. Arizaba began sailing to the South Coast in 1865. In 1859, Pacific began service to Victoria with stops in Crescent City and Portland and was later joined by Brother Jonathan and Active. California sailed this route as well, beginning in 1866. In January 1866 the California Steam Navigation established another ocean route, offering the first regular steamship service between San Francisco and the Hawaiian Islands using its steamer Ajax. After only two round trips, however, the company put her on the San Francisco-Victoria route to counter new competitive pressure. These new ocean routes brought the company into contact with new competitors. In the north, the Pacific Mail Steamship Company sold its business to the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1861. Ben Holliday, a tough steamboat pioneer, ran this dominant company. At the time of the acquisition it had five steamboats on the San Francisco, Victoria route to the two Pacific and Brother Jonathan deployed by the California Steam Navigation Company. Holiday added more ships, but the two companies appeared to have an understanding that prevented a rate war. This changed in 1865 when Jarvis Patton established the Anchor Line, and put his ship Montana on the San Francisco-Victoria Line. He cut prices to gain customers, but with only one ship on the route, the pricing equilibrium between the two main competitors more or less remained. In 1866, however, Patton built Idaho, and a full-scale rate war broke out. Profitability went out of the northern route. Topic. Decline In 1867, the fair war on the northern route forced consolidation. The California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company bought the entire ocean-going fleet of the California Steam Navigation Company. It bought Active, Ajax, California, Orisba, Pacific, and Senator. This forced the California Steam Navigation Company back to its Bay Area core, which itself was suffering from competition from new railroads. On March 31, 1871, the California Pacific Railroad Company acquired all property of the California Steam Navigation Company. This included 11 sidewheel steamships, 40 barges, 20 wharves and depots, and the franchises that allowed the ships to sail. Cash from the asset sale was distributed to shareholders and the company was disincorporated in September 1871. The railroad continued the operation of the steamboats, integrating them with its own routes and pricing scheme. The steamboat railroad merger was driven by the same desire to reduce competition that had driven the previous steamboat company mergers. Five months later, the Central Pacific Railroad acquired the California Pacific Railroad Company, creating an even more powerful transportation monopoly. In a confusing epilogue to the corporation's history, a new and unrelated steamboat company was created after the disincorporation which was also called the California Steam Navigation Company. 
It too, ran steamboats on the Sacramento River, but in this new world it was the upstart competitor undercutting the monopoly rates of the entrenched incumbent. This second California Steam Navigation Company passed out of existence in June 1889 when it merged with the San Joaquin Improvement Company to become the California Steam and Improvement Company. Topic. Fleet The California Steam Navigation Company owned and chartered dozens of ships, barges, tugs, and boats. Relatively few were in full-time service on specific routes. Some were operated only seasonally to meet the peak demand of the summer harvest time, when ships and barges would bring crops from the interior to San Francisco. Some were operated only when high water allowed passage to ports further inland on the rivers. Some ships were held in reserve, to replace vessels that were due for maintenance or were damaged. Some ships were used as storeships, floating warehouses and offices. Some vessels were anchored or moored and never used. These were typically ships bought from competitors to keep them from competing, or obsolete ships that the company would not sell for fear of them falling into the hands of potential competitors. The company established a base for its unemployed ships in Oakland. Below is a partial list of the company's ships and barges with a focus on how they came to be part of and then left the fleet. Topic: <laughs> Ships. Active, the ship was acquired from the company by the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1867. She hit a rock and sank in 1870 Ajax, originally built for the U.S. Navy in 1864, she was purchased by the company in 1865 specifically to open a route to Hawaii. The ship was acquired from the company by the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1867. Amador, she was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. American Eagle, she was one of the original ships consolidated into the company in 1854. The ship was destroyed in a boiler explosion. Anna Abernethy, she ran as a competitor to the company on the Marysville, San Francisco route beginning in 1854. She was taken over by the company by 1856. She broke her drive shaft while on the Petaluma, San Francisco run in 1857. Antelope, the ship reached the Bay Area in 1851 by sailing around Cape Horn. In California she sailed for the Independent Line and was one of the vessels consolidated into the California Steam Navigation Company when it was formed in 1854. The vessel was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. Banner, she was a light draft vessel which began competing with the company on the upper reaches of the Sacramento River in May 1862. By December 1863 she had been acquired by the company. The ship was burned and nearly destroyed by an arsonist in December 1864. She was repaired and returned to the river in May 1866 to compete with the company again. She was back in the company's fleet no later than 1868. By 1872 her machinery was removed and she was slated to be broken up. Bell, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. On February 5, 1856 her boilers exploded killing about two dozen people. The ship appears to have been repaired, but renamed Swan see below, so as to disassociate her with the disaster. Brother Jonathan, she was purchased by the company and refit in 1861. She sank with the loss of perhaps 225 lives in 1865. C. M. Weber, California, she was built for the company in San Francisco and launched in 1866. She was acquired from the company by the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1867. Capital, the ship was built for the company and launched on November 5, 1865. She was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. Captain Sutter, the ship was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Chrysopolis, the ship was built for the company at the cost of $200,000 in San Francisco and launched in June 1860. She was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871 Comanche. She was built in the Bay Area and launched in 1851. The ship sank after a collision with J. Bragdon in January 1853. Ten lives were lost. 
She was repaired and returned to service, becoming one of the ships that was consolidated into the company in 1854. It is likely that she was converted into a barge of the same name by 1858. Clara Cleopatra, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Confidence, she was acquired in New York by John Bensley and sent to San Francisco in 1849. The ship was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Cornelia, she was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. She was condemned as unseaworthy in 1872. Daniel Moore, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Dover, the ship was built for the company in San Francisco and launched in 1869 Eclipse, she was launched in December 1854 as a competitor to the company. By mid-1855, the company controlled the ship. She was converted into a barge of the same name. Eliza, built in 1824 and sailed around Cape Horn in 1850, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. She was broken up in 1868. Express, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. The ship was owned by the company at least until 1856. In June 1870, the ship was owned by an independent operator that competed with the company on the San Francisco, Oakland route. This venture failed, and the ship was sold at auction for $1,200 on January 12, 1872 Flora. The ship was built for the company's trade with Marysville, and thus had an exceptionally shallow draft of 11 inches. She was launched in 1865. Gordeloup, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Gazelle, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Gem, Globe, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. The ship was used as the company's office for a time and Asa storeship. Goodman Castle, the ship was built in the Bay Area and began sailing as a competitor to the company in 1858. By February 1859 this venture had failed and the company owned the ship. She was broken up in 1875. Governor Dana, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Governor Dana III, she was a shallow draft vessel built for the company's Sacramento Marysville route. She was launched on October 29, 1863 h. T. Clay, the ship's frames were constructed in New Orleans and then sent to San Francisco where they were assembled in 1850. She was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854 Hartford. The ship sailed from New York to San Francisco, arriving January 24, 1849. She was nearly destroyed in a fire in early 1851, but was rebuilt and became one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Helen Hensley, the ship was built by Samuel J. Hensley. She was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. She suffered a boiler explosion later that year. Henrietta, she was built for $12,000 in 1857 to compete with the company, but her owner died before she entered service. The company owned her before the end of the year. Her engine was sold and exported to China in 1863J. Bragdon, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. James Blair, she was built in the Bay Area to compete with the company and launched in 1857. This venture failed and by April 1858, the ship was owned by the company. Julia, the ship was built for the company's Stockton route and launched on August 18, 1864. She was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871 Kate Hayes, Kate Kearney, she was listed as unemployed in 1856. Luck, Luck was broken up in 1876 Marysville New World, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. The ship was sold to the Oregon Steam Navigation Company in May 1864 for $75,000. Orient, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. She sank in the old river and her machinery was removed in 1858. Arizaba, the ship was purchased from the Pacific Mail Steamship Company in 1865 for $60,000.
she was acquired from the company by the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1867. Pacific, she was purchased from the Pacific Mail Steamship Company in 1860. She was acquired from the company by the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1867. Paul Pry, the ship was built in San Francisco in 1854. She was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. Pike, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. She was broken up in 1860. Plumers, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. On July 11, 1854 she hit a snag and sank on the Sacramento River. Her machinery was salvaged but the rest of the ship was a total loss. Queen City, the ship was built for the competitive Citizens Steam Navigation Company, but was taken over by the company when it drove its competitor out of business in 1855. Reliance, Republic, Sam Solis and Antonio Senator, the ship was built in New York originally for trade on the New England coast. In response to the California Gold Rush, she was sent around Cape Horn, reaching San Francisco in 1849. She was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. She was acquired from the company by the California, Oregon, and Mexico Steamship Company in 1867. Shasta, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854, but it appears she was idled immediately and never sailed again so fee. She was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Sophie McLean, the ship was built for the company's San Francisco, San Jose route. She was launched on January 18, 1859. The vessel blew up at the dock while getting up steam in October 1865. Surprise, she was built in San Francisco and had her sea trial on April 2, 1855. She ran in competition to the company, but by November 1855 she had been sold to the company. Unlike many of the California Steam Navigation Company's surplus vessels, Surprise was sold, but in a way that guaranteed she would never come back to compete with the company's ships. Her new owners took her to China, via Honolulu, in May 1861 to carry freight on the Yangtze River. She sailed into the middle of the Taiping Rebellion, was fired upon by shore batteries, and eventually burned at Shanghai. Swallow, she was built in San Francisco for the company and launched in November 1860. The ship's machinery was reused from Willamette. Swan, the ship was originally named Bell, see above, but was renamed after a fatal boiler explosion. She was refitted at a shipyard on the American River and launched on December 15, 1856. Urilda, she was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. Victor, she was built in the Bay Area and launched in 1859 to compete with the company on the San Francisco, Marysville route. She never made a competitive trip and by January 1860 was owned by the company. Willamette, beginning in late 1854, she competed for a time with the company's ships on the Sacramento River, the company lowered prices making Willamette unprofitable. Her owners were forced to sell the ship to the California Steam Navigation Company, which chose to simply moor the ship and let it rot. She was eventually broken up and her machinery used in Swallow. Wilson G. Hunt, she was acquired in New York by John Bensley and sent to San Francisco in 1849. She was one of the original vessels consolidated into the company in 1854. The ship was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. Yosemite, the ship was built for the company in San Francisco and launched in 1862. She was acquired from the company by the California Pacific Railroad Company in 1871. Young America Topic. Barges 76 Comanche Eclipse a little giant party Roller